At first at four, Haley Danderan's fate is now turned over to a jury. She's charged with the 2017 murder of Toma Boyneville on Oahu's North Shore. Jolani Martinez is here with today's closing arguments. Jolani. Mark Ash, prosecutors say testimony and evidence prove Haley Danderan was an accomplice to her then boyfriend Stephen Brown, who's already been convicted of Boyneville's murder. They argued that she acted in her own free will when she held the murder weapon for Brown and watched him kill Boyneville without leaving. But Danderan testified that she was terrified of Brown and thought he might kill her if she tried to stop him. Prosecutors also said Dan Duran gave false statements on the stand when she claimed Brown punched her in the face multiple times the day of the murder. They showed the jury her mugshot that showed no obvious signs he, she had been hit. Prosecutors also reminded the jury what Dan Duran said to an officer at the arrest scene. While she stood with Corporal Kaava, unprompted by any police questioning, what did she say? Can you just pull your gun out and shoot me in the head? After today, my life is over. That is a recognition of a guilty conscience. She knew what she had done. Her participation was willing and voluntary, and there was no more running. Not only do her words at the arrest scene point to her conviction, but her own admissions on the witness stand. Everything Haley did that night, everything Haley did that day, was to buy time so that she can hopefully live. Everything that she did was either by force, remember, being forced into to the car, that's actual physical force, and or by threat of use of force against her, up to and including being murdered herself if she doesn't comply. That's what this case presents you with. Those are the facts. The defense argued that Dan Duran is guilty of burglary, but never intended to kill, kidnap, or steal a truck. If they convict Dan Duran of murder, she would face a life sentence with a chance of parole. Her ex-boyfriend is due to be sentenced next month. The jury is made up of six men and eight women. They began deliberating at 3 this afternoon and are expected to continue on Monday. Jolani Martinez, Hawaii News Now. Jolani, thank you.